In a recent development, the Australian variant of the K9A1 Thunder, known as the AS9 Huntsman, was observed in South Korea for the first time, as reported by Mason on October 12, 2024. This sighting suggests that the 155mm self-propelled howitzer was likely transported by South Korea's Agency for Defense Development, ADD, which plays a central role in the development of the K-9 Thunder system. The ADD's Chong-1 Proving Ground is a probable destination for the AS-9, where extensive developmental testing and evaluations for military products are carried out. The idea of Australia acquiring the K-9 Thunder was first raised in June 2005 as part of broader discussions between Australian and South Korean defense officials. These talks included the potential trade of the K-9 system and Australian naval gun ammunition. By 2009, Samsung Techwin and Raytheon Australia became frontrunners in Australia's Land 17 Artillery Replacement Program after other contenders failed to meet necessary specifications. Testing of the K-9 platform began in 2010, and it demonstrated its capabilities by firing the M982 Excalibur, thus satisfying critical program requirements. The proposed Australian variant, which would later be designated as the AS-9, included NATO standard fire control systems, enhanced anti-tank mine protection, and reinforced suspension to handle increased weight. However, despite being selected as the preferred choice for the Land 17 program in June 2010, funding issues caused by the Queensland floods in 2011 led to the project's cancellation in 2012. Momentum for the acquisition returned in 2019 when Prime Minister Scott Morrison announced Australia's intention to acquire 30K-9 howitzers and 10K-10 resupply vehicles. In 2020, Hanwha Defence Australia was awarded a contract to locally produce the AS9 variant as part of the Land 8116 Phase 1 project. This variant is based on the Norwegian K9 Vidar and includes significant upgrades first proposed in 2010, along with modern modifications to suit Australian defence needs. The contract for 30 AS-9 howitzers and 15 as 10 ammunition resupply vehicles was finalized in December 2021, with a budget of $788 million. Hanwha's Geelong-based Armoured Vehicle Centre of Excellence, HAC, which began construction in April 2022, is expected to be the heart of AS-9 and S-10 production. This state-of-the-art facility will include a 1.5-kilometre test track and production is set to be completed by 2027. The AS-9 Huntsman is a highly mobile, heavily armored self-propelled artillery system equipped with a 155mm-52 caliber gun capable of firing up to 40 kilometers with standard ammunition and up to 60 kilometers with specialized rounds. One of its standout features is its ability to fire multiple rounds simultaneously hitting the target at the same time through precision fire control systems. This capability, combined with its speed and mobility, enables the AS-9 to quickly reposition after firing, reducing vulnerability to counterattacks. The AS-9's development includes enhancements like an improved suspension system, additional armor for better crew protection, and an integrated fire control system from Kongsberg which connects it seamlessly with other Australian defence assets. The vehicle's digital controls and semi-automated loading system allow for a sustained rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds per minute, with the ability to fire 3 rounds within 15 seconds. The AS-9 will play a crucial role in modernising the Australian Army's artillery units, particularly within the 4th Regiment. Its increased range and mobility will augment operations complementing the M777 howitzers that will remain in service for air mobile artillery missions. The AS-9's capacity to fire multiple precision rounds and its mobility are vital for responding to dynamic operational environments. Beyond its artillery capabilities, the AS-9 includes advanced climate control systems to withstand the harsh Australian climate as well as reinforced crew protection measures tailored to specific operational needs. The accompanying AS-10 resupply vehicle shares similar protection improvements 
and boasts an automated ammunition loading system that reduces crew exposure during combat. The establishment of Hanwha's HAC facility in Geelong will have a notable impact on local industry, generating approximately 300 jobs for Australian specialists. The facility is integral to the production of AS9 and S10 vehicles, contributing to the creation of a self-sustaining armoured vehicle production line. Additionally, Hanwha has entered international agreements with partners such as Norway's Kongsberg Gruppen, and Safran to integrate advanced combat and electronic systems into the AS9, ensuring that the Australian variant remains on the cutting edge of modern artillery technology. The AS9 Huntsman represents a significant leap forward in Australia's artillery modernization efforts. With enhanced range, firepower and mobility, the AS9 is poised to become a cornerstone of the Australian Army's ground operations. As production ramps up and deliveries begin by 2027, the AS-9 and its supporting systems will enhance the country's defense capabilities and contribute to the establishment of a local industry that supports future defense needs. The AS-9 is not just a powerful artillery system, but a symbol of Australia's growing defense partnership with South Korea and its commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge military force tailored to meet modern warfare challenges.